Hey guys, I'm Clarissa, and welcome to What's a Tea, where we talk about all tea in everyday life. My first tea, I thought I'd serve you guys gender pronoun. What are gender pronouns? Gender pronouns are basically one's preference on how they would like to be addressed. So examples of gender pronouns are he, him, she, hers, they, them, and a lot more others that I'm not familiar with. So I'll give you an example. So for me, since I am a transgender woman, I would like to be called as she and her and also ma'am, of course. So those are my pronouns. So that's how I would prefer society or people to refer to me as, as a woman, because that's how I identify. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm sure that you have seen other videos um, with this topic, and it most of the time turns into a debate or an argument. Here's my two cents about it. I will limit this based on my experience as a transgender woman living in the Philippines. So when I go out in public, um, there are still times when I will be called a sir, um, probably because of my voice. I mean, I'm not always the most ladylike or probably because I just look busted as fuck on some days. So when this happens, uh, when I was younger, like I would really, really, really get upset over it. Getting older, I realized that it probably doesn't, or I don't think, I don't feel like it comes from a place of being disrespectful or being rude. I feel like people are just confused or they just really don't know how to address you properly. And this can all be avoided with, you know, like a 30 minute or one hour training or gender orientation when they, or before they start working. But when they do call me sir, I just feel like they, yeah, they just weren't trained about, you know, gender pronouns and they just refer to you as how they see you. So it's basically just their perception of you and that's not really being rude or being disrespectful. It's how they see you, you know? And let's be honest, physical appearance plays a huge part um, in on how you wish to see people to perceive you. So if they see you physically, externally, as something, then they would call you as how they see fit, right? So they're not really like intentionally or maliciously uh, saying that to upset you or hurt your feelings. It's, it's just literally how they see you. My advice is that, you know, if you would like to be called a certain way, then you should start looking the part as well. And I know that this sounds very unfair because you know so what if you just look like a man and you would like to be addressed as a woman well tough luck like this is life and you know you have to really work hard at your you know physical appearance to really look like a woman because if you look like a man in a dress people will call you sir Right? Because that's how they see you, a man in a dress, uh, regardless of how you feel on the inside. Because here's the thing, right? How people see and perceive us is beyond our control. And I know that, you know, with these preferred pronouns, some people will be against it. Some people might say, you know, I refuse to participate in this charade or things like um, your reality doesn't really care about your emotions or how you feel. And you know what? Like, at the end of the day, we can't really force people or make people 
call us if they really don't want to. And reality check, here in the Philippines, we actually don't have any laws that would punish them or penalize them for you know, misaddressing you or using the wrong pronoun for you. In other countries there are, but here in the Philippines there aren't, so. For me personally, I mean, I just don't really, um, I mean, yeah, of course, I want everybody to call me ma'am, she, hers, um, but also at the same time, I don't really give a fuck. I mean, these are fucking strangers that, you know, I won't see every single day, right? Like, these are people that I would just see once in my life. So I don't really care that much if, you know, if they see me that way, they refer to me that way, then okay, fine. Not my problem. So to summarize, if you belong in the LGBTQIA community and you identify as transgender or non-binary, queer, and you would like to be addressed a certain way, my advice would be to not be too offended or don't take it personally when somebody misgenders you or when someone mispronounce you <laughs> at the end of the day people are going to call you however they want to call you and we could only hope that it matches with our preferred pronouns right that the best thing we can do is just to present ourselves the best way that we can so that they see us the way that we want them to see us and hopefully that will then lead them to using the pronouns that we prefer and that's the tea thank you guys thank you guys for having tea with me tonight and i hope to have tea with you again the next time cheers